Hello everyone, this is Pallavi Pooja from Rasa Inika. So today we are going to deal our next rule that is weights rule. Very, very important for the CSR net exam. And especially when it comes to inorganic compounds, you have to know their structures or shapes we can say. Just let us start with the weights rule. What exactly, what we have to you we have to study this weights rule. So the main application part of weights rule is that in order to predict the structure or else shapes of the inorganic compounds, you have to study this. Okay, so there will be certain rules where you have to follow. I'm going to teach you one by one. So just apply those rules and you are going to just determine the structure, whether it may be closo, nido, arecno, hypo, clado, right? So just let's start with, so that is what application method of weights rule coming to the rules what you have to follow in order to determine the structure of each and every inorganic that is boron clusters so first step one what you have to do you have to calculate the total number of valence electrons in the given cluster okay suppose you have bn hn bn hn type okay so each and every boron and hydrogen where their their valence electrons you have to count and you have to add okay now coming to the step two where the simple uh, one calculation where the one formula you have so that you have to apply and you, you are going to calculate the scp that is skeletal electron pair we can say apart from that the step three where you are going to determine the structure by considering the value of n so at last you will get some total value just consider that you have got seven as a n value okay after that is for scp you have got the value as seven so next step what you have to do by considering this n that is seven value then in the given metal cluster that is the boron cluster the value of n will be number of boron atoms present in that closo nido or hypo uh, cluster so by considering that you are going to uh, find out the final structure of this boron and now just let us start with one by one example so this is what the key table you can refer for the weights rule okay so just i am going to show you so three columns where you you can see these are the types of boron clusters that is closo nido arecno hypo and clado so the formula where you can represent for each and every type of the clusters is bnhn2 minus bnhn plus 4 bnhn plus 6, BNHN plus 8, and BNHN plus 10. So these are what you can have the formula. And then apart from that, the skeletal electron pairs, as I have told, the SCP, in order to calculate the SCP, so you are going to apply the formula that total valence electron count minus 2 into N divided by 2. So that is what the two methods we can follow. According to the weights rule, you can apply for this SCP uh, formula. Apart from that, what easiest method you can follow in order to know the cluster type. Okay, so just let me show you here. Okay, so this is what the formula type you have. Now you have B5H9 type. Okay, B5H9 type you have. So how you can apply with respect to the formula method and one more thing where the by calculating the SCP. So in case of formula method, how you can represent this? You can represent this like BNHN type okay so be an hn plus four type so where n will be equal to five right so n will be equal to five so that what i can say b5 h5 plus four type so this will be bn hn plus four type so bn hn plus four type where you can say you can see in nido so the given boron that is b5 h9 cluster is nido type so it has the nido type of cluster and that is what one method you can follow apart from that in case of this boron clusters there will be some hetero borins also okay so in case of hetero borins what you will be having you will be having hetero atoms in such cases what you have to do you have to consider each and every hetero atom is equal to so many bh units so now you can see for carbon silicon germanium and tin you have to consider it will be equal to one bh unit and when it comes to nitrogen phosphorus and as okay so you have to consider that is equal to B1 BH2 unit. So like that, with respect to every different hetero atom, you have to consider its BH unit. Along with that, you are going to consider 
you are you are going to calculate the type of cluster okay so this is what the main key table you have to refer for the weights rule now apart from that you can see the examples here three examples i have shown so the first one is closer type nido type arachnotype so coming to the previous method what i had told that is in case of b6 h6 minus b6 h6 minus and you have the charge as 2 minus right so it is looking like how it is looking like bn hn 2 minus so this is what closer type right and now coming to the next example what you can see b5 h9 so as i have told uh, means i have explained you b5 h9 where it will be b5 h5 plus 4 right so b5 h5 plus 4 in the sense it is looking like this bn hn plus 4 type right so this is what the method you can follow apart from that the third example where it is looking like uh, b4 h10 so you have the b4 h10 so you can represent it like this b4 h10 that is 10 will be so 4 plus 6 right so it will be like just let me erase few things okay so for b4 h10 what you are going to write so for b4 h10 again it will be bn hn plus 6 type right so that is what you can have for each and every boron cluster what type of uh, cluster uh, what type of structure it has so this is what one in easiest method we can follow because during your part c question uh, whenever you have while solving you will be not having that much time right if you are wasting your time in such type of uh, simple questions then what you have to do you have to apply easiest method in order to know the type of structure okay so now coming to the in detail in detail that is scp method how you can follow for each and every borings so this is what the b5 h5 4 minus example i have given you so first thing what you have to do you have to calculate the total valence electrons of boron and hydrogen if it has given if it is given that boron cluster if hetero boron cluster is being given you have to calculate the valence electrons for each and every hetero atom along with that the boron and hydrogen right now you have b5 h5 4 minus so what you have to do you have to calculate you have to calculate its valence electron so just i am going to highlight you here that is b5 h5 so you have uh, five boron right so each and every boron will be having three valence electrons so it is having three valence electrons so just i am highlighting and then hydrogen will be one right so five into three then five into one plus four okay so this is what the charge you have right so you have the charge as 4 so whenever you have minus 4 then you have to add it when you have plus charge okay plus charge you have to subtract right now you have negative charge so just add it then if you if you add 15 plus 5 plus 4 you will get 24 so you have got your tve value you have got your tve value as 24 so next what you have to do you have to calculate for scp that is skeletal electron pair so for calculating skeletal electron pair what method you have to follow again so just this is the formula tv minus 2n divided by 2 so this this formula whatever you can say i'm highlighting so this is what the formula you can apply so tv what you have got you have got 24 right so just i'm going to highlight here so 24 minus 2 into 5 so what is the value of n here so this n value is nothing but the number of boron atoms in the given cluster so in case of b5 h5 4 minus you have the n value as 5 right so you have the n value as 5 that's why what i can write here i can write it has 2 into 5 now what you have divided by 2 so 24 minus 2 into 5 so 24 minus 10 so 24 minus 10 will be equal to 14 so 14 divided by 2 will be equal to 7 right so you have got 7 as a answer here so now you have got the 7 so now your job is to do that so you have b5 h5 overall 4 minus right so how many borons you have that is n is equal to 5 right so now what is this scp you have got scp value you have got it as 
right so now comparing with respect to 5 and 7 so 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 right so 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 in the sense then what i can conclude that is n plus 2 is equal to 7 so n plus 2 where you have got the scp as n plus 2 then the structure will be nido type so the structure will be nido type then overall what i can say b5 h5 4 minus is nido type of cluster so that is what each and every boron cluster or else the heteroboron also the car carboron also or is carboboron also we can say so each and every boron structures you can follow with respect to weights rule application and you are going to determine each and every uh, type of cluster that may be closo nido arecno hypo clado with respect to their total valence electron count we can say okay so with this i have given you few hints regarding weights rule application and definitely it will be helpful for you again i will be looking forward with respect to few more important topics for the csr net exam till that thank you bye bye